for you guys is new to the industry. Y'all want to come in this game and let me get back down. Y'all want to come in this game and talk shop about trucking. Let's get into it. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Lockout men right here. Coming back at you guys with another video. What's going on? Hey, y'all, y'all see it. Y'all see it. I'm still. Uh, the t-shirt is comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Something to wear around the house. You know what I'm saying? Representing JNR Shrugal. You know what I'm saying? Company owned, employee owned. I I don't know about that employee owned stuff, man. I think uh I, I think I was almost almost to the ESOP program before I, I decided to bounce, but look, uh conversation with my man's um via email. He was asking me a lot of questions about uh about J and R Schwugel, whether he should go there, is it a good company and all like that. And I, I just gave him my honest opinion, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was good why it, it was good while it lasted. You know what I'm saying? It was good while it lasted. But enough of that. Enough of that. Look, I want to sit here to bring you guys another video. If you're new to the trucking industry, man, these series of videos right here that I'm doing right now should be able to help you out. I hope they do. I hope they do help you out. I uh, hope they answer some questions that you may or may not have. Last episode, we talked about... Uh, well, last two episodes was how to compare packages between trucking companies. Make sure you check that out. And how to find the best trucking, I mean, truck driving job. Now, actually, you won't be able to find the best truck driving job. You probably just find one that is comfortable to you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So with that said with that said let's get into this episode is how does sliding scale works and I what's up hold up hold what's up, up? What's, what's up, up what's going on G? what's going on what's how you feel on? man what's up Yo, look who decided what's going to walk on y'all building what's, right what's here. going on what's, what's up man man what's, ain't what's nothing going, going on talk to me you know we what you about to get, get into, into uh into okay. this video right quick so what yeah what, you, you yeah really let's do it out? let's do it okay that's what's up that's what's up he's here to help me out so i'll tell you what i'm going to go ahead and let him take the lead on this and um Lock out, man. Go go ahead and uh, take the lead on this, man. What, what you want? Well, check it out, y'all. Right I mean, I I, I I didn't want to come in and infringe on my dude right here, but you know, it is what it is, man. So check it out. Some trucking companies have established a sliding scale as a way to pay their over-the-road drivers. Typically, a sliding scale pay will pay drivers a different CPM depend on the length of haul that they are on. The longer the length, the lower the CPM. The shorter the length, the higher the CPM. Since the driver's pay under a sliding scale change based on the length of haul. So I'm gonna tell you guys some examples. You know what I'm saying? We about, I'm about to tell them some examples right quick. So here's an example of a potential sliding scale, right? Sliding scale to me is I, I don't know. It's not. It, I don't. I don't like it. I don't like sliding scale. Mm -hmm. You. I don't like it either. I don't like it. I, I just don't. But here's an example: zero to a hundred miles mm -hmm. is fifty-two cent. A hundred to two hundred mm -hmm. miles is fifty. Two hundred to three hundred right. miles is forty-eight. Three hundred to four hundred mm -hmm. miles is forty-six. Four hundred to right. six hundred is forty-four. 600 or more miles is 42. So, like that? 
It's it, hot. In yeah, here. man, it's, it's burning here? up, dude. It's but I'm all right though. But anyway, anyway, um, the the less miles that you do, the more right. the more money you make. That's the consensus right there. So let's say you get a shitty mm -hmm. uh, load that's only going like maybe a hundred to maybe a hundred to two hundred miles. That they ain't no money. But they trying to compensate you by giving you more money or more CPM because of the less miles that right. you that you rock. I I don't think I I don't think that's I don't know. If you're gonna give me give 52 me fifty two cent, cent, give right. me fifty two cent a mile. Look, go, fifty go two cent. I'm rocking that. I like that. Don't don't just give me a short miles and give me a lot of money. Give it to me across the board. Recruiters of the trucking companies that will offer sliding scales will normally tell drivers that sliding pay scales are an advantage because they compensate the driver more for a shorter length of hauls. See, that's see what recruiters is trying to do. They, they trying to just throw in that extra stuff that try to make the pot sound good. You know what I'm saying? And it is crazy how they they do that because. It's like, okay, well, for the low miles that you run, you, you'll get the incentive for getting paid a lot. It, that, it, it's not, that's not even it. That's not even it. Look, let me tell you something. If you're going to give me the, if you're going to give me the CPM, give me the CPM. If you're going to give me the CPM at what, at, at what it is, 52 cent, give me the 52 cent across the board. You know what I'm saying? So next up right quick, next up right quick is how does branded pay scale works? All right. You know, I'm, I'm okay. about to take this right quick. I'll, I'll take the little one. It's all right. This type of pay scale is not as common within the transportation industry, right? Because I never heard of it. You heard of it? You ain't heard? It? Nope. I, I ain't I heard, of it. heard of it. I never heard of it. I ain't hear of it. But the basic premise is that the trucking companies will pay CDL drivers different rate of pay depending on the area of the country that they were in freight in. Huh. huh. I like that. Okay. Okay. Drivers who are willing to run the Northeast normally more valuable than drivers who want to run freight only in the South. The, okay. Now I, I see it. I, I see the point. I you do? see the point. Okay. Okay, the point. Okay. Well, tell, tell me what the point is, man. Come on, don't, don't just hold it up. Tell me what the point is on this. Right, because I'm not a Northeast driver. I don't want to mess with the Northeast. You feel me? But my company that I work mm -hmm. for, I mean, that I drive for, if you do drive up in the Northeast, not saying New York City and stuff like that, but if you drive in the Northeast, they will pay you an additional. Uh, they will pay you an what? additional for going up there because they know that a lot of Tell drivers. You, I'm don't not like messing, messing with no with Northeast, the Northeast man. so this is probably a good idea. You know, find I mean, out I, about that. I will that. find out. That, that's something to find out. You know, some companies are willing to compensate drivers at a higher rate of pay for running the less desirable areas. This type of play. This type of pay can come in the form of added bonus or it may be added directly to the truck driver's base pay. If you are a potential driver thinking about going to work for a trucking company, that line has been, I mean, that for a truck line that has a branded wow. pay package, then it's make sure you fully understand what each area pays. Also, try to find out how often the company run in those areas. Oh, yeah, I'm you, about to go, you man. about to leave? I'm about to go. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about, about to, to go. finish. Yo, go I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. It's my twin right there, y'all. Sit right there. Yo, if you guys like these type of videos and all like that, man, if you want something to help, uh, that, 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 that helps out the potential truck driver and stuff like that, yo, make sure you give this video a like subscribe make sure you comment and if you want to hit me up directly talk to me in the dm in the comments or in my gmail 
Yo, I am open to talking to you guys and all like that. To holler at you if y'all want to know about the trucking industry or whatever y'all want to talk about. Shout out to my man. Let me see. Hold on. Over here wasting time. Shout out. I got to find it. He's in here. He, he's in here somewhere. He's in here somewhere. Uh, I believe it's Craze. All right. Craze 89 or something like that. Shout out to you, brother, man. I appreciate the conversation that we had over uh, over Gmail. Yo, if uh, if you choose to go with J and R Swoogle, you know what I'm saying? Yo, just uh, just make sure you fully understand everything we talked about J and R Swoogle. All right. And um, and yeah, I, I will still represent J and R Swoogle. I mean, they listen, y'all. The company never did nothing to me. It was a it was a decision for me for me leaving the company. It was a decision that I had to make what's better for me and my future going forward in the trucking game. So you guys like it, good. If you don't, good. I appreciate it. Look, holler at me. I'll come back at you guys in the next video. Uh, stay tuned for what is the, the next, next video? video? Hold on, I'll tell you in a minute. What's the next video, man? Come on. Uh, uh, stay tuned for the next video of how trucking companies calculate the number of miles owed to a driver on any trip assignment. Ooh, that's that going to be a good be one. a good one. Take guys, care. Guys, take it easy. Me I'm too. Lock out, man. Peace. I'll come back at you guys later. Peace. Cause baby once I'm gone I ain't coming back But you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize don't be running back Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone